bad time. I like to do this in my free time. Uh, well, the reason why we brought you all here together today was for, of course, the seminar you've all been anticipating for the last few months. And of course, that would be the one by Brandon Wilson, Aiden Marr, and yours truly. Of course, yours truly meaning myself. Um, so, our seminar, it, it's just, it's very touching, you know, what we're doing it on. And it's on, you know, how past, past events really have a profound effect on people. The other day, I was rocking down the road and I slipped. I hurt my leg. There's not a bruise though, but I'm not gonna walk there again. That's my profound effect. Okay, well, the first story will be done by Brandon Wilson, and, and this one's really, it really relates to me. Uh, you know, it really just hits me right there, just right there. That would be the one uh, where the woman, you know, remembers her mother, to, uh, remembers her mother's advice about how love should be bought. Love, you know, in order to find true love, it has to be the love that you know you really, you really need to. Feel, you know, and this is from the past experience of her mother, herself, who ended up marrying the wrong person. Anyways, the next one will be by Aiden Marr. This one's called The Shivering Tree. This one's interesting. It's, uh, it's Aboriginal. I think there's a person in, in this classroom, actually, that's part Aboriginal. But anyways, um, this is about a juggler. Um, they like to juggle the eyes. She, you know, he goes up to Nana Bush. Yeah, Nana Bush. And he starts just juggling his eyes in front of Nana Bush. And Nana Bush decides that, you know, he can do it too. So he starts doing it. You know what the juggler does? He steals his eyes. Who does that? Someone must have been smoking too much on the peace pipe, if you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> not, not saying anything. Miss McDonald. <clears throat> Um, the next story will be, of course, by yours truly, um, me, um, it's called The Address, uh, about a, an older woman now, uh, after the World War II, after she is a Jewish person and she was in the Holocaust, and before her and her mother were taken to the Holocaust, taken to a, a death camp, um, they had to give their stuff away to a family friend, so all the nice stuff wouldn't be taken by the Nazis. So she decides to visit her hometown and quickly realizes that it, it, it brings back memories of the Holocaust. Just, it's very sad. And, um, she decides goes back to the house and maybe gets some of her belongings, but she realizes that, you know, maybe you need to forget the small things first. Before you can forget the the large things. So, on this note, I hope you enjoy our seminar. And by the way, ladies, I'm available. <laughs>